Shalom, shalom, Yashur Allah. Start off first things first, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem Ra Kadash, to the Pedal Hebrew Times, Great Name of the Holy Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, double honors to the Pops of the Elders, a great millstone, and shalom to you, sister, brothers, letting this truth, and shalom to the brothers and sisters that's listening and standing to show themselves the proof. Shalom. Down a little bit. Make sure it don't drown me out. Shalom, y'all, Shalom. Now, woo, hey, back to what I love and I do best. Eyes on the real enemy. <laughs> Esau is shook, scared. You know, they about to make their move in a minute. They somewhere in a meeting right now trying to, you know, Understand the best course of action they can take to demonize us so that way they can attack us. Because the recent events that this happened, as I'm gonna read the article. I'm gonna read, let's just read the article, and it's gonna explain what I'm talking about. And it says, How many Hebrew Israelites are there? And how where should Jews be? Woo! And they trying to cast lots for us, y'all shrill, they're trying to size us up. So it says. Recent military posturing of Israel United in Christ, or IUIC, followers of the Hebrew Israelite spiritual movement, has alarmed many already on edge for recent attacks, rise in the anti word. So that's IUIC. They basically talking about when IUIC marched at the Barclays Center outside of the Brooklyn Nets Stadium in order to back up Kyrie Irving. That situation. And it says, Dressed in matching purple hoodies and shirts with gold fringes attached to the bottom in observance of Deuteronomy 22 and 12, hundreds of members of a controversial Hebrew Israelite group marched to the streets of Brooklyn on Sunday. And see how they lie? They said purple hoodies. Those are not purple hoodies. And they're saying that to, you know, I'm telling you, man, they're trying to demonize us. And they're going to put us all in the same box. Because... We I don't I don't go with the, the teachings of IUIC. We're not with IUIC. You know, there's different sects of Hebrew Israelites, different groups, but they're not gonna differentiate us by group. They're gonna lump us all together. You call yourself a Hebrew Israelite, you're you gonna be in trouble. That's how they about to do it. And that that, that move the IUIC did shook them devils, man. Because IUIC is a really, really big group. And they went out there marching in huge numbers, and these devils are like, hey man. We got to do something about them, you know, because it's like this thing is momentum. The Lord, man, he, he's building this thing up. Hebrew Israelite is the number one talked about topic right now because he put on celebrities to say it. The rich men have said it. This, this gospel has reached the gates of the nobles. Like my subscribers and YouTube uh, views that went up like new fish are flocking in. Esau got to put a stop to this movement, man. He, he hates whenever, you know. Yashrala try to stand up, but see, this time, it's not going to work for this devil, because now we're standing on what we're supposed to stand on. This ain't no Black Panther movement. This ain't no civil rights beg. This ain't uh, come with our money together, Black Wall Street. No, man. We come into the names of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, <laughs> and the devil will not stop and prevail against this church. So I'm going to keep on reading. They was reading, they was saying, uh, Hey, Jacob, it's time to wake up, they chanted, using the term for people of color who have yet to embrace their true identity as descendants of the biblical Jacob, later called Israel. We got good news for you. You are the real Jews, which that's true. That's true. And this is why Esau has to do something about this, this awakening. Because with us claiming that identity, after he done claimed that identity, you know, he's looking like a liar now in front of the whole world. So he has to, you know, he, he, he got to take, he, he thought he destroyed us. He thought we was left for dead. He thought we'll never claim Israel. We'll never know we the real, you know, Jews. And now that that's happened, he's like, I got to finish the job. So they're just talking about more, you know, the Brooklyn Nets demonstration. I want to get down to, which I might put this in the comment board for you. But I want to get to why I really brought this article out. Yeah, that's a little rabbi talking about he's scared. <coughs> and they up here trying to do numbers, which is casting lots for us. I want to get down to 
But they even got, they know about the Latinos and Native Americans coming in. They look, they doing numbers. Yeah, I'll put this in the uh, description box. I'm not going to read it all. So I'll put it in the description box for you, Ashra. I want to get to the, the part that I seen on the because it's somebody I know about that they're talking about who submitted his report. So check it out. It says, Israelism is becoming a part of plausibility structure of black America. Christian activist and author Vocab Malone told the Jewish Telegraphic Agency. The, what's that? JTA. Vocab Malone. That is a Edomite who's in the spirit of a, another Edomite named Harmon. Well, you're going to go through that description. You're going to see what I'm talking about, y'all, Sharala. He has submitted his report because that's all he does. Vocab Malone. I did a, a lesson on him. He goes camp to camp, gathering information, checking our numbers out, seeing our beliefs, you know, being an agent because he's an agent. And Vocab has now submitted his report in. And they're now trying to do numbers to try to, you know, see how big we are and to see our capability. And why are they doing that? Because they about to go to war with us. So referring to a social context in which certain ideas are considered credible. The suspicion that a lot of folks have toward the Jewish community, they think they're vindicated now. Woo! Did you hear that? So they're mad that now people are looking into the matter and now they're starting to see it inside with the real Jews which is your so-called African-Americans, your so-called Native Americans, your so-called Latinos. Make up the 12 tribes. <coughs> People now started to consider that, man. So they like, oh, no, we got to do something. And they got vocab Malone to submit his report. You know? So it says, Malone, who used the aliens in keeping with <coughs> hip-hop culture, is a close observer of the Israelite world. He's aged. He is. The Phoenix resident frequently engages in debates on the street and online with members of groups described as hateful by the Southern Poverty Law Center, including IUIC, Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, which is IUSPK, Israelite Church of God in Yahweh Hamashiach, where they say Jesus Christ, which I think they might be a different, but I think they're talking about GOCC, but they might be talking about somebody else. You know, and the Sakari, which Sakari pack guns and talk about busting their guns. So all they got to do is use Sakari and they have all the evidence they need to come at us, you know, in hopes of convincing them to follow what he considers to be the true path of Christianity. You know, so it's just more uh, information and, you know, numbers. They, they doing it. This, this, this thing is all about numbers, man. So, this is them, uh, you know, casting lots, and they, they really on IUIC's tail, man, which really, they already clipped up, man. Uh, I feel like, you know, just talking through the spirit right now, I feel like that's going to be the main group to get snatched up first, because Nate, their head dude, used to be a police officer, and I talked to a young dude at my job, and he told me that to submit their, their address, their names, their family names, they got to submit information to Nate. In order to join IUIC. And with that being said, you know, that's in the police database already. So he does they they already been giving up. But they're gonna go, they're gonna use this persecution to seek out anybody. Anybody claiming that he was like, you're gonna be considered a terrorist of Babylon the Great America, and they're gonna seek, you know, to take your life away. They're gonna make you try to renounce your house shot. And this, this is an article. They, they really went in on it, man. So, I'll put that in the uh, this article description box. You can read all about it and read the numbers. And now we're about to go into scriptures because this day, they said, I got my eyes on the real enemy, man. And Esau is about to come with it. They made, they, this to me, this article is them talking about raging war because they feel like we rage war by claiming who we are, being Hebrew Israelites. And they see this ain't going to die down. It's picking up steam. It's getting bigger. So now I can see them setting up like they did the Black Panthers. I can do is pay some dudes, <coughs> pay some dudes to put on a, uh, some, some fringes, go rob a bank, a store, or, you know, just hurt somebody. Um, and, and there you go. Then they're going to put it all on the news. I told you. They, they, they radical. They militant. They violent. And then they're going to use that to use the military to attack us. 
So with that, let's get to the scriptures. And, and Bocat Below, he is Hobbit in the reincarnation. And I'm going to show you that through the scriptures. So let's let's get to it. Because that's all that do, dude does, man. So let's go to Joel. Joel 3 and 3. And this reads, And they have cast lots for my people, and have given a boy for a harlot, and sold a girl for wine, that they might drink. Let's break that down. It said they have cast lots for my people. We just witnessed that article with them trying to do a number count. They casting lots for the nation of Israel. They trying to see, hey, how many of them is it? Uh, are they really? Do they really believe what they preach? And if they do, we're going to do something about those. They need to be eliminated. They're not going to fit the new agenda that we're about to go into. You know, they're, they're radical. So they're casting lots right now. We're doing a, a consensus, a numbers count. Counting heads. If they've done that before, this is nothing new. They did that during Queen Esther's time. So it says they have given a boy for a harlot. And that means, you know, a harlot is a whore. And they have. All these rappers, your big time celebrities, all those dudes ain't nothing but harlots. Whores. They've done something strange for a piece of change. Esau gave them back. That's why they all messed up. So that's true. Because if you want to get super rich in Babylon the Great, all you got to do is do some harlotry stuff. Do some whore stuff with an old Edomite that got billions of dollars. Bam. Instant success. And that's what Jake has done. So they have given a boy for a harlot in Babylon the Great. And they love that. Like now, they'll, like Esau would rather have a, a young male than have a young woman. A young male would make more money on the whore market in, in Babylon the Great than a woman will. That's how bad and messed up this place is. So that's happened. And it says sold a girl for wine. You know, they been to sold the, the women of Israel out to be whores. <coughs> and for what? It said for why? They could also go into philosophy, man. They, they use the Israelite woman as like the main weapon for Esau. Because she's drunk off that wine, that knowledge uh, of Esau. And then she go feeds that to the community, her children. Any man that's going to listen to her and it affects the whole community, the whole nation right there. So they been done messed Eve up. Now they have come to where they could corrupt the, the, the majority of the men. The only men that stand strong against this are the hopefully like men, the men of the Lord, are the only ones that stand up to this devil. Everybody else in Israel has been ran through. Two thirds has been ran through. Hopefully like only ones standing up. That's why I said that they might drink. Because they want us to be drunk. They want you to be drunk on Babylon juice. They want you to be drunk with the philosophy of America. That's what they want you to be. We not. We sober. We vigilant. We only want that stuff. We'll smack it out your hand. I, I ain't with that. So we all about your how about you was shy over here. And the devil's not liking that. Because we're not serving him. We serve your how about you was shy. And, and we have come, you know, we, we are separating ourselves from Babylon the Great. Even though we're still here, physically still got to, you know, work in his wicked system. Like, we're not purchasing things we used to purchase. So he's losing economically. Uh, we're not in places where, you know, they can, they can get us. You be, you know, set us up like clubs of that nature. We don't, we don't go to those places like we used to. And now this devil's just angry. Like, these people are getting away from me. They're getting off the plantation. You know, Esau don't like that. So he going to send out his coons. That ain't working. So now he's like, man, let's just cast lots. See how many of it is. And then eliminate them. You know, trying to exterminate us like, like roaches or something. <coughs> so since I say that, let me, let me show you something else. Since I talk about vocab belong, y'all, Sharala. Now go to my page for all the new people that ain't familiar with vocab belong. Go down to, because I did a lesson on that dude, where I, I, I tell you who he is, and I had help. He'll tell you who he is, so <laughs> it ain't like I lied or nothing. He came out and said it. So where is that lesson at? Let me find that lesson for the new people. You know, we got a lot of new sheep flocking in. They might not be familiar with vocab alone. And I want you to know who he is so you know who I'm talking about because he just submitted his report 
And he they they basically he he's like Hamid, man. He did the same thing that Hamid did. There you go. Edom's agents will not succeed. Go watch that lesson. And in that lesson, I talked about it. Well, he tells you. Matter of fact, I'll just play it real quick. Shalom, shalom, Yahshua Allah. I'm going to start off first things first. Giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem. On the door, and it was a man in a black suit. He tried to talk to the people. He tried to persuade Israel, because he don't give a damn what Esau think. It's all about Israel. He tried to persuade Israel to come back to that sweet baby Jesus, that plantation Christianity, you know, that uh, TD Snakes, Creflo Dollar doctrine. That's what he's trying to do. And he he's on the form of, he on the worst form of plantation Christianity. He does a thing called Calvinism. Look that up, Yashra Calvinism. That dude was a uh, plantation Christianity pastor that burnt somebody uh, on, on, on a stake with some fire. He did what the KKK did, you know? Something that's real horrible and terrible, you know? That Roman Catholic spirit. So with no further ado, let's play the little clip. He's going to let you Check know, you know, the Jesus. You know, well, well I'm, I'm going to play the go clip. Cap and then we're going to break down what he said. So let's play the clip. Pause that. Let's play the clip. How did you get into this? I'm just super curious to know, like, what led to all this. Well, um, one day I was chilling, you know, and, uh, I heard a knock on the door and it was a man in a black suit and he said i'm a jesuit and we want to hire you we've got some vatican money and uh i said okay do you have any other credentials and he also told me he works for the fbi and i was in mm. you have a lot of Woo, did you hear that so that's the feds man that dude works for the fbi you know and he, he like i like since i've been in this truth you know, all he did was go and do intelligence gathering on all the camps, the One West camps, because that's where the truth is at. It started with the One West camps. So he he's done. He's just submitted his report now. They're kind of like done with him. So let's go to Esther, because this happened before. This is nothing new. This is all scriptural, all biblical. Let's go to Esther 3 and 5. And this is why I call him Haman. Who was another Edomite. So check it out. This is Esther 3 and 5. And when Haman saw that Mordecai bowed not, nor did he reverence him, then was Haman full of wrath. And he thought scorn to lay hands on Mordecai alone, for that showed him the people of Mordecai. Wherefore Haman sought to destroy all the Jews that were throughout the whole kingdom of Osiris, even the people of Mordecai. So that's the, it, we in the same situation, man. Read that uh, the book of Esther. We in that same situation, Yashrala. We're not bowing down to Esau, which is bowing down to Haman. We're not bowing down. How are we not bowing down? We're declaring who our nationality is. We're declaring that we're Hebrew Israelites. You know, I believe I'm, I'm a Jew. I believe I'm from the tribe of Judah. That's my belief right there. So he, he sought to destroy all the Jews, which really translated all of Israel. He sought to destroy Israel because he found out that he not only wanted to destroy Mordecai, but also his people as well. Because Mordecai represented Israel at the time, and he did not bow the knee. So that's us. And if you read the whole story, he cast the lots. You know, he cast the lots for all the, the people of Yashar Allah, you know, all the Israelites, and he, he sought to have us hung. And Yabashah reversed that course, you know, through Queen Esther. That's why the book is titled at the hub, because she helped save her people. You know, for Eve to do that, that's why her name is there. Because your, your average day Eve is not going to stick her neck out for the nation. Your average Eve today doesn't give a damn about her nation at all. There's very few Eves that do. Very, very few. So I see why there's a whole book about her. And see... Like if I, if, like like my daughter, if you're an Israelite woman, you should aspire to be like Queen Esther. This is a good book to read because she she stood strong and she listened to her uncle, Mordecai. I noticed everything her uncle told her to do, she did it. <laughs> and it all worked. She was in submission to her uncle because her parents died. And that, that was righteous, man. That, that's a very, that, that's a, a righteous, you know, thing to follow. You know, Queen Esther. Because she, she helped save her people, because mostly when the Eve get a position of power, you know, they get their little job, they get full of pride, and they forget the men of my nation, you know, they don't, they don't give a damn, 
<laughs> at all. So to get back on track, we're in the spirit of Mordecai. We're not going to bow the knee to this dang devil. Like we're getting ready to, you know, hey, Lord willing, Yahweh I give us our spiritual power. We're going to go to war with this devil. We just waiting on Yahweh Shah because he got to rise up to the prey. So that 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 right now they're going they're seeking our deaths right now they're like he's like homie he done submitted his report to the to the nobles vocab alone just did that he submitted his report to the nobles and now they're casting lots <coughs> they're doing a head count and they're trying to figure out the best way to get us and i know they want the people on their side so they're going to go with a smear campaign they're going to hire some jakes and this is me talking to the spirit how they're going to do it i'm just saying they're going to hire, hire some jakes Put fringes on them, have them do something stupid, commit a crime, same way uh, Nero did when he burnt down the church and then blamed it on the Jews, same thing. And then the people be like, oh yeah, those people are crazy, they are radical. And then they have the public support, and then they're going to come at us full strength. Like, that's what we're looking at right now, y'all, So let's go to Psalms, because this is a plot. And this is about to get heavy. That's why we got to lock into this truth. Because these devils are shook. They're scared. You know? They kingdom is collapsing. <laughs> we up here. And that name, Jacob, getting louder and louder. That name, Yahweh. Why Yahweh? Shah getting louder and louder. You know? Israel coming back in a major way. And it's scaring these devils. So check it out. This Psalms 37 and 12. The wicked plot against the just and gnash upon him with his teeth. Like I said, the wicked, they plot right now. They and they think tanks thinking the best way to set us up right now. And it said, gnash upon him with his teeth. Hey, his teeth going to be his military. They're setting up, you know, new draconian laws to create civil unrest. That way they can bring in the military. So by the time they get ready to roll on us, the military is already here, already active. All they got to do is make a phone call, get anybody saying they Hebrew is like, get them, round them up. And we throwing them all in these camps. They're going to do that. <coughs> That's what's going on right now. So I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to bump down to 14. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy. And to slay such as be of upright conversation. Now, what's upright conversation? Talk about the scriptures. Talk about your high was shy. Talk about our nationality. That's upright conversation. Esau don't like that. He want us to talk about nigga stuff, shooting dice, uh, committing adultery, you know, uh, all kind of perversion. He He's cool with that. But if we have an upright conversation, nah, 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 that's not good. I sure don't want to talk to no new person about no upright conversation. You know, converting them to Yahweh Bashi was shot. We, they don't want that. So the wicked have drawn out the sword, which that's going to be when that military come out. That's going to be drawing out that sword. Which they're setting the stage for that as we speak. And when they bent their bow, that's like him cocking the gun. That's him pulling one back, putting one in the head of that gun. You know, same thing as bending that bow. And to do what? To cast down the poor and the needy. Who's the poor? Yasharala. We ain't got businesses like that. We ain't got councils set up like that. A lot of us barely get by paycheck to paycheck. We are the poor and the needy. We got to go to the devil for everything we need. Because of them blowing up Black Wall Street, we ain't got our own schools, banks, libraries. <coughs> we ain't got none of that. No no financial institutions do we own in Babylon the Great. You know, none of that. So we are the needy. We got to go to the devil for everything we need. Our water, food, everything. You know, so even though we got to come in for everything and we already poor, that's not good enough for that devil. That's why, man, I can't stand Esau. Say the devil, they got all this and that's not good enough. They want us to be in total subjection. Don't you talk about being a Hebrew Israelite. You are African American and you black and you better say that. Because I demand it. That's how Esau talk. As a matter of fact, get the work. You know, that's how these, these devils do. And see, look, I'm going to bump up one more to 13. The Lord should laugh at him for we see his day is coming. <laughs> As I say, hey. And that's so true, man. We laughing at these devils. Because like I just said, I'm already blowing the trumpet, letting you know what these devils about to do. We see the day coming. We know the setup coming. Like, you've been totally exposed, Esau. Like, 
And I'm like, like what that priest said, the Lord gonna laugh at you. So I'm looking like, bring it on. You know, come with your diabolical plan. I'm not afraid of Esau eat them. Why? Go to 15. Their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bows shall be broken. <laughs> and it will. How? Hey, watch the brothers get their spiritual power, man. Watch us get it. Lord willing, we part of the hopeful elect and we get that spiritual power. But nonetheless, there are going to be brothers who get spiritual power. Point blank, period. And when they do, that sword going to enter their own heart. And their bow is going to be broken. And so that sword entered in your own heart. Their sword should enter their own heart. I mean, they military, part, a lot of their military people going to turn on them. <laughs> they were like, man, I ain't, I ain't signed up to be shooting, you know, uh, Americans. I ain't signed up for that. Matter of fact, I ain't, I ain't even cool with the laws y'all doing. Because a lot of people in the military got family that's living in Babylon the Great. So I, I don't, I, this is not going to go good for Esau at all. This like it didn't go good for Harmon. <laughs> When he cast lots to try to get us destroyed. I said, go read that Esther. <laughs> you know, it turned on him. His whole plot turned around on him. So, hey, the, the gallows, where you hang people at, that he, that he had, had made for the, the Israelites to be hung on. <laughs> hey, him and his people got hung on them same things that he had built. <laughs> and that, that's just a funny story right there. And that's going to happen to Esau. That's what's going to happen to Esau. <coughs> straight up so i'm gonna go to this we're probably gonna leave off this right here i gotta pull this out revelation chapter 12 and it says therefore rejoice ye heavens and yea they dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time and look, 144, when I just read that, call how long your how about was shot by Shiraka Dodge. 144, baby. Because the devil's got but what? A short time. So he's coming out with great wrath. Because now he's being rushed. He got to throw out his MOTB system out there real quickly. I know he, he wanted to wait to 2030, but it's looking like he got to do it now. So he being rushed. Because his time is short. Y'all shot like ain't giving him the time to do that. So he got to throw it out there real quick. And that's making him angry. You know, Esau's used to sitting back, you know, being that cunning hunter sitting in the tree. He's used to waiting on his prey. Now he got to come right now. He don't like that. So check it out. We're going to bump all the way down to uh, 17. Revelation 12, 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of Yahweh and have the testimony of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. So they're looking to go to war. With who? With the remnant. You hear that? With the remnant of her seed, which goes into the whole free lack. Why? Because if we keep the commandments of Yahweh and we have the testimony of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, these devils don't like that. And we was being niggas, they be cool with that. You know? Killing each other, uh, selling their drugs, they be cool with that. You know? But we, 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 uh, we repenting, we changing. We call on your high Shah with Shah. We walk the lost commandments. And they that's 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 killing his whole kingdom. His whole kingdom is crumbling because of that. By us just leaving the plantation. You know? Not buying cigarettes. Not uh buying the drugs we used to, not going to the clubs and going out to eat like we used to. You know, not saying there's anything wrong with going out to eat or you know, going to the to the bar or nothing like that, but we ain't doing it like we used to. You know, we living a simple life. We cooking. You know, we ain't even going out to eat like we used to no more. Like, order a takeout. A lot of us cooking. And so that devil losing money. A lot of us are uh, getting ready to uh, live off-grid. <coughs> so we're, we're minimizing our living. We're buying off-grid things. That's, that's killing his pockets. Y'all, Sherala, you know this devil love his money. You know he love his money. Then we over here, we taking away his covering. He can't even say he's a... Uh, he got to say, he got to use that, that, that ish word, really stick to them now. Now it really sticks to them, <laughs> you know? Now they feeling naked. Because now the whole world know them to be liars. Because why? Because we claiming to be the real people. We're claiming to be the real Jews. So now these devils like, oh, man, now I feel some type of way. Now they butt hurt, you know? Now you made me be out the liar in front of the whole world. I'm like, you are a liar. The truth is just coming out. And that's that's another thing these devils is mad about. The truth is bubbling up. It's getting its fruit now. Now the devil looking like a fool. 
He is a fool, but now he looking like a fool. Now everybody start. He getting stripped naked. Everybody started to see him as the base man that he is. And Esau can't take that. They are fragile people. And I can see that just the plantation job I work at. They, they bugging out. You know, they tripping. They getting mad at it. They, they, you can just tell it's about to be a race war. It's about to be, hey, Jake and Esau about to bang like they did back then. <laughs> it's about to happen again. So we about to go to war. I got my eyes on the enemy. I'm watching them. Y'all, Sharala, they can't make a move. Without me seeing like what they about to do. So get ready for the smear campaign. It's coming. And that, that's going to be what they're going to do before they come all out war. Uh, they got to break the system down some more to get civil war going. So they get their troops, military troops in place. So when they jump on us, they, they, they try to have a good success rate. So we're not quite there, but we at the beginning stages of it. It's all getting set up. So with that, I say, hey, keep being circumspect. Stay locked on this truth, man. Keep your light going. Put some 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 fire. Like so lock you. Put some wood on your fire. Man, make that mud burn bright. Keep buying oil. You know, keep purchasing that oil. Keep your, your light burning. You know, if you don't know what that what I mean by purchase oil, I mean keep the faith. You know? Because that, that faith is very vital and important, man, right now. That, that's the one thing you gotta like protect. Because these devils about to make their move. So with that, I hope this has been edifying. I want to say Kwame Yashirala. Detail Baba Bob. Shalom.